Hello, I'm John Canalopoulos, an eye surgeon based in Athens, Greece, in New York City, New York, director of the Laser Vision Institute in Athens, and clinical professor of ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York. The concept of performing collagen cross-linking as a prophylactic measure in routine LASIK or PRK cases. Uh, so we feel this is a, a very uh, viable technique to enhance the biomechanical stability of LASIK cases, which as we know and as reported in the literature, is reduced by the making of the flap and the tissue that is being ablated, and uh, it does not appear to affect our procedure nomogram. Of course, further studies uh, and larger follow-up is necessary to confirm these data. I hope you find uh, the brief presentation of the technique interesting, and I thank you very much for your attention. So here's a brief description of the procedure. We use the femtosecond laser to create the flap, then lift the flap, uh, perform the eczema ablation, as in our, our routine uh, LASIK cases. And at the completion of the laser ablation, a few drops of uh, riboflavin solution, 0.1%, are placed over the underlying stromal bed and left there to soak for uh, 60 seconds. The riboflavin soaks into the anterior and mid stroma as uh, its exposure facilitates the rapid um, absorption of riboflavin solution. Then the residual riboflavin is rinsed, the flap placed in place and repositioned as it would be in a routine LASIK case. Now, following the flap reposition, some of the riboflavin climbs up into the flap and then the cross-linking device is engaged to expose the riboflavin present within the cornea to collagen cross-linking and have a two-fold effect. One, reinforce the underlying stroma, and two, adhere the flap into the um, uh, position. Here, going to real clinical case, so we're seeing the FS200 uh, wave light Alcon uh, femtosecond laser to create a flap in about six, seven seconds. You can see here the data, this is a very high myope with astigmatism. We're going on to the laser ablation, uh, which takes a few seconds, and now the drop of riboflavin solution uh, that, as we saw before, will soak the underlying stroma. We'll wait 60 seconds, then we'll place the flap in place and uh, irrigate, as you can see here, copiously to remove any imperfections and the possibility for DLK. The flap is repositioned in place, uh, and uh, we'll see some very nice images of it here. You can appreciate how much riboflavin has soaked within the cornea stroma and now in the underlying flap, and then engage the cross-linking device um, to perform uh, a session with the Avedra device that we use now, uh, one minute of 30 milliwatts per square centimeter. And the data presented in the study, uh, we used uh, 10 milliwatts uh, for three minutes. Here's the uh, I first post-op day and one week post-op um, on OCT, you can see the hyperreflectivity caused by the cross-linking over and under the flap. And these are before and after images. And I thank you very much for your attention.